There we go. All right, well, welcome everybody. Today's flow is going to be very all levels, just kind of like a good morning wake up stretch. I know for me, when I wake up in the morning, I feel kind of stiff and tired. And the past few days, I've just been getting up, kind of going through a stretch and flow just to get my day started um, so that, you know, whatever I do after that, whether I work out or take a walk or start with my kids, I'm feeling ready. So we're going to go ahead and start in child's pose. So you'll come to the back of your mat. You're gonna bring your big toes together, knees out wide, sink your hips back towards your heels, extend your arms out in front of you, and then rest your forehead down on the floor. So starting with a little bit of breathing, take a deep inhale through your nose, and then just open your mouth and exhale, let some breath out. We'll do that one more time, deep inhale through the nose. Open your mind and exhale. All right, now come up on your fingertips, lock your hands over to the right. Just feeling that little side body stretch. We're gonna move relatively quickly through some of this, just trying to kind of open things up and get the energy flowing. So you're gonna walk your hands over to the left now. I like to stay on my fingertips and kind of press my right shoulder down so I feel that stretch along the right side. And then bring it back through center. Walk your fingertips as far forward as you can and then keep pressing your sternum down toward the mat. And then on your next inhale breath, go ahead and come on up into tabletop on all fours, shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees. We're gonna go through some cat cows and feel free to move around however you like in this. So you're just gonna inhale, look up, tailbone up, and then exhale, push the floor away. We'll do that a few more times. Inhale, lengthen up, lift your heart, exhale round, tuck your chin, push into the shins. Good, inhale, look up, and then exhale round. One more time, inhale. Lift your heart, lift your chin, lift your tailbone, and then exhale, pull everything in, engage your core, keep your belly in, and then start to move in big circles with your body, clockwise and counterclockwise. And this is the place where you kind of move around, just do what feels good. If you like to kind of move your wrists or anything else is totally fine. This is just all about starting to wake up your body. All right, now we're gonna come back into tabletop, curl your toes, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. But come up on your tiptoes and just start to walk your dog. So you're gonna bend your knees right and left, right and left. And I like to really exaggerate moving the hips side to side, especially in the morning when I first get started. Just feels good to start to kind of get rid of the kinks. All right, so let's inhale high up on your toes, drop your heels to the right and push into your left hand. And you're lining up your feet like you're standing on a balance beam. So heel to arch or excuse me, toes to ankle of both feet and then come back to through center and then line it up, heel toe to ankle. So that way you're kind of in one straight line like you're standing on a balancing beam. And then back through center up on your toes and then bend your knees, belly thigh. This is called bear pose. So just kind of opening up your chest and shoulders. We're gonna shift forward and back a few times. You're gonna inhale, shift forward to plank, shoulders over the wrist, core strong. And then bend your knees and exhale back into bear pose. Good, inhale forward to plank and then exhale bend back into bear pose one more time inhale forward to plank and then exhale back to bear pose with the knees bent hips lifted and then straighten your legs melt your heels to the mat downward facing dog go ahead and walk your dog one more time all right now take your right leg inhale and reach it high to the sky you might come up on your left tiptoes for a moment just to really get some length just kind of opening through that right side body and then melt your left heel down and take some big big circles with your knee. So you're just taking that knee from the floor to the sky, and then you're gonna go in both directions, clockwise and counterclockwise. If you like to straighten the leg and move in big circles with a straight leg, you can do that too. All right, right leg high, and then exhale, draw your knee to your nose. Inhale, reach it high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, reach it high. This time, exhale, knee to elbow. Oh, right knee, right elbow, inhale, reach it high. One more like that, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, reach it high. And then you're gonna step through to the top of your mat into a low lunge, a runner's lunge. So the knee is over the ankle and I just want you to start to move around. So you're gonna bend and straighten through that right side. And again, like I said, we're just kind of moving things around, waking the body up. You don't want any deep, intense stretches until your body is warm. So shift front to back, front to back. All right, now take your left hand down on the inside of the right foot, bending that right knee, stretch your right arm high for a twist, and then take some big circles through this right shoulder. 
Just rotating through that right shoulder, opening up the shoulders and the chest while still working through the twist. All right, now put your right hand down, step your right foot back, downward facing dog. And again, if you wanna move, walk it out. Take a deep breath in through the nose, out through the nose. And take your left leg, inhale, reach it high. And you're gonna bend the knee and stack and come up on your tiptoes of that right foot again, get that stretch as you lengthen and then big circles on this left side. So just rotating back and forth, both directions. And like I said, if it feels good for you, you can take the legs straight as well. I like to kind of just play around with it. Feeling good. All right, take your left leg, inhale, reach it up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, reach it high. Exhale, knee to nose, shift forward. Inhale, reach it. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, reach it high. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, reach it up. And then exhale, step it through. Runner's lunge. So just kind of lining up your body, knee over ankle. And then you're going to bend and straighten. So moving around, forward and back, forward and back on this left side. So the goal is just opening the hamstrings, the calf. There's really no wrong way to do this. You can move slower. You can move more quickly. It's all up to what feels good in your body. If you want to hold the stretch, you can do that too. So just kind of moving and then we'll take the twist. So bending your left knee, right hand inside of your left foot, left arm high to the sky. You're gonna twist and look up, up. Try to straighten your back leg, squeeze your glute. Now take some big circles on this left shoulder. Just kind of rotating a few times. All right, now put your left hand down. This time step back to plank. Shoulders over the wrist, your first plank pose, just holding your core strong. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Squeeze your glutes and inner thighs. Now I want you to inhale, shift forward up on your toes. We're gonna exhale, lower all the way down to the belly, going slow. The elbows bend in towards your ribs until you're all the way on the mat. Separate your feet, hip width distance, or maybe a little wider. You're gonna inhale up to a low cobra. So not a push up, just use your lower back muscles to lift. And then exhale, lower. We're gonna do that two more times. Inhale, lift. This time you can push the floor away and come a little higher. Exhale, lower. And then last one. Come all the way up, lift your chest, and then you can look right and left. Roll out your neck a little bit. Just try to keep your shoulders away from the ears. All right, now we're gonna push back to downward facing dog. So curling the toes, lifting the hips. So you're in an upside down V shape. This time just hold for two deep breaths, and we're gonna start to move through sun salutation A, really get the blood flowing. So take a deep breath in through the nose, and exhale through the nose. You wanna draw your shoulders away from the ears. It's like you're hugging a ball with your biceps. So kind of squeezing your arms in. All right, now inhale up on your toes and you can walk or step up to your mat. Maybe jump if you're ready till you're in that forward fold at the top of the mat. Now let's inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. And then you're gonna inhale, rise. Reach your arms all the way up, palms touch. And then exhale, hands to your heart. All right, inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Little back bend and then exhale, forward fold. Now inhale, half lift, maybe hands to shins. Exhale, you can step or jump back to plank. This time you're gonna lower halfway down, chaturanga, and then you come to the tops of your feet and lift your heart, upward facing dog. So my thighs and knees are off the mat. That's the difference between um, up dog and cobra. And then you're gonna come back over your toes to downward facing dog. All right, so that is sun salutation A. We're gonna pick up the pace. We're gonna do it three times. So I'm gonna move pretty quickly with the breath. You take it with your breath. Here we go. Inhale, high up on your toes. Bend your knees. Look forward. Exhale, step or float to the top. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. All the way up. Palms touch. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, reach up. And then upward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump back to plank. Lower chaturanga. You can add some extra push-ups if you want that little bit of strength. Inhale, lift your heart. Up dog. Exhale, back, down dog. All right, inhale, high up on your toes. Bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or float to the top. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise, all the way up. Little back bend, maybe a bigger back bend. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump back to plank, lower chaturanga. Inhale to up dog and exhale back to down dog. This last one we're gonna add on a little bit. Inhale high up on your toes, 
Bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or float to the top. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Reach all the way up, palms touch. This time, grab your left wrist with your right hand. I'll face you so you can see. Inhale up. Exhale, stretch up and over to the right side. So you're just getting a side body stretch, holding onto that wrist. And then come back through center. Left wrist, or right hand, right wrist, left hand, stretch over to the left. So just grabbing the wrist and pulling over, feeling that side body stretch. All right, back through center and then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or float it back. Lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale back, downward facing dog. All right, take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, side out. Now take your right leg. Inhale, reach it up. And exhale and step through to the top of your mat. Stay up on your back toes here. And then just lift your heart and hover your fingertips. So you're in a low lunge, but you're hovering. You want a straight line from the back heel out through the crown of the head. Hold it here. One more breath. Now place the hands down. Straighten your right leg and lift your um, right toes off the mat. Also come up on the tiptoes of your back foot. It should kind of feel good. You're getting a more ha deep hamstring stretch here. Good. Bending back into your runner's lunge. This time inhale up, crescent pose. Lift through the heart. Now we're going to move a few times here. So inhale, lengthen. Find that long spine, long back leg. And then exhale, sweep your arms back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, sweep it back. Two more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, sweep. Keep balancing by pressing the big toe down. Inhale up. And exhale, sweep. All right, now inhale up to the top. Open up to warrior B. Bending into that right knee, sinking low. Good. Now straighten your right leg a couple times and sink a little deeper. So bend and straighten just a few times. You're pressing into the outside edge of your back foot. Now I want you to sink low into your warrior B. Flip your right palm. Take the left arm down the back of the left leg. Find that reverse warrior stretching through the right side body. So stay low in your right leg. You're trying to keep your thigh parallel to the floor. All right. Now right elbow to the right knee, left arm high. Maybe right hand to the floor all the way into extended side angle. So bending deep into your right knee. Good, now straighten your legs, reverse triangle. Reach through that right side body, big stretch. And then you're gonna keep the legs straight, bring those arms back to parallel. You might bump your back foot up a little bit, shortening your stance. Now push your hips toward the wall behind you. Reach through that right side body with a triangle. So your right hand can come to your shin or to the floor. Maybe a block, left arm high. So you're trying to create straight lines in your body and keep pushing your butt out behind you, okay? Because if you're rounded over and you don't have your hips under you, you're, you're gonna look kind of wonky like this. We want straight lines. Now take your left arm, sweep it forward. If it feels good, you can take your left arm around for a little wrap and maybe an advanced version and take the right arm out in front of you using your core. All right, bring that right hand to the mat. Left arm back to the sky, and we're gonna revolve our triangle now. So the left hand's gonna come inside the right foot, bump your left hip forward a little bit, right hip back, and then right arm goes to the sky for a twist. If this feels good, you can take your right hand behind you for a half wrap. All right, let's release both hands to the mat. You're gonna shift forward into your right leg and lift your left leg. This is a standing L, so walk your hands out underneath your shoulders. Now four times we're gonna crouch low just to get those legs fired up. So you're gonna bend your right knee, tuck your left knee in behind, and then inhale, reach it up. Exhale, bend, inhale, reach. Exhale, bend, inhale, reach. Last one, exhale, bend. And then inhale, reach, and walk your hands back to your foot for a standing split, trying to work your nose to your shin, lift your left leg high. Very good, all right, so step your left foot Next to the right, bend the knees, inhale, sit back, chair pose. Ukatasana is what we call this in yoga. So sink the weight into the um, heels, lift your heart, and then exhale, sweep your arms back, clasp your hands in a bind, open your chest, stay low in your legs, feel them firing up, and then two straight legs, keeping your clasped hands, stretching your chest. All right, release your hands, inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step or float it back. Lower one, two, or three chaturangas. Inhale, upward facing dog. 
exhale back downward facing dog and we'll do the other side okay take your left leg inhale reach it up exhale step it through stay in your low lunge straighten through the back leg now inhale and hover your fingertips off the mat again straight line from the heel through the crown of the head stay low your belly is off your thigh but it's kind of touching you're just not resting it there good take another deep breath all right, hands down. Now straighten your legs. Come up on the tiptoes of your back foot and the heel of your front foot. Try to lengthen your spine so you get a really good ham, um, hamstring stretch on that left leg. Nice. All right, bend back into your runner's lunge. Now inhale, lift your chest, reach the arms up overhead, crescent A. So I want you to sink low, straighten your back leg. Now we're gonna do that flowing breath four times. So inhale, reach up. Exhale, sweep the arms back. Inhale, reach. Exhale, sweep. Inhale, reach. Exhale, really pushing the hands back behind you. Last one, inhale up. And exhale, sweep. Good, inhale up to the top. And now again, we're gonna open up into Warrior B. I'll turn and face you. So the arms are out wide. Spin your back heel flat. Look at your back foot. You want your toes angled toward the front. So stay low in that left leg. And then you're just gonna bend and straighten a few times with your breath. You're working into the hip joints, kind of opening up the flexibility of the inner thighs. Now settle into it, left thigh parallel to the floor if you can. Flip your left palm, inhale, reverse warrior. Your right hand goes down the back of the right leg, but there's no weight there. You're trying to lift up out of the waist and get a good stretch on the left side body. Keep breathing. And now left elbow to left knee, right arm to the sky, extended side angle. So you wanna push your rib cage towards your leg and lift your heart. So no rounding, you don't want space here. You wanna lengthen. And then if you can, left hand might come all the way down. Right arm might extend, maybe a wrap. Take another deep breath here, feel those legs firing up. If you want, you can also extend that left arm overhead. All right, now strong legs, we're gonna come up, straight legs to reverse triangle. So straighten your legs, take your right arm down, left arm lifted, reach to that left side. Now back to parallel, bump your back foot in, push your right butt cheek out behind you like you're sticking your hips out, reach to that left side, and then left hand to the shin, maybe a block or maybe all the way to the floor or the foot. So triangle pose. You don't want rounding here. We're not thinking over. So as straight as you can go with the spine, lengthen and reach to the fingertips. Maybe you look up, sweep that right arm forward, breathe. Maybe a half wrap in the spinal moment. All right, now bring your hands to the floor. You're gonna bump your right foot up, right hip forward. So squaring your hips, flat back. Right hand stays on the mat. Left hand can come to your low back or extend all the way to the sky for a revolved triangle. So you're just twisting, stacking the shoulders. Maybe that half wrap, last breath. All right, hands down. You're gonna bump forward into the left leg. Extend your right leg so you've got that standing L. So up on the fingertips, four crouching um, little leg squats. Here we go, so exhale, crouch low, and then inhale, reach high. Exhale, low, inhale, reach. Exhale and reach, tucking the right knee behind the left, get really low, last one, and then lift it high. Now walk your hands back towards your foot, standing split. You might take one hand behind the ankle or maybe both. Really reach your right toes to the sky, find that balance. All right, set your right foot down, bend your knees, sit back, chair pose, sweep the arms up overhead, sinking through the hips, reaching through the fingertips, hold it here. And now exhale, sweep your arms back, still in that low chair, get an interlace grip of the hands, squeeze your shoulder blades back behind you, hold for three, keep breathing, stay low in the legs, two, and last time, exhale, lift your hands to the sky. Good, take one more big breath here, feel that stretch across the chest, release your hands down, inhale, half lift, exhale, plant your hands, step or float it back, lower one, two, or three, chaturangas, Inhale, upward facing dog. And then exhale back, downward facing dog. All right, we're gonna come to seated. So you're just gonna walk or float your feet through, bending the knees, come down on your sit bones. So let's take the bottoms of the feet together, lift the chest. So this is called Baddha Konasana. You're just kind of pressing your knees toward the mat, lifting the heart. 
shoulders away from the ears. Now a little trick here, I want you to take a deep inhale breath. And then on the exhale, I want you to come forward, okay? You can gently apply a little pressure with the elbows to the knees, but not a lot. You don't wanna force the stretch. All right, take another big breath and then go deeper. So in this pose, you can really feel the power of your breathing. So another breath and then go a little deeper. So even though you don't think you could probably go further right now, if we took another breath, I bet you could. So just take one more breath, come on down. Good, and then release it. All right, let's take the left leg out in front, cross the right foot over. So you're gonna lift your chest, take your right hand behind you. So you're twisting toward the bent knee. And then you can just use your left arm to hug the knee in, or you can come all the way around and press the elbow into the outside of the knee, turning and twisting, looking back, sit up tall, inhale, and then exhale, twist. All right, let's do the other side. So extend the opposite leg, take the left foot up and over. You can again, just hug the knee in or take your elbow to the outside of the, the leg. Left hand is at the base of the spine, like a kickstand, inhale, lift your chest, exhale, twist. Good, take another big inhale and exhale. All right, come back around to center. Now we're gonna cross the knees, come forward, we're gonna move into pigeon pose. So take a down dog and I'll come to the side again. Lift your hips, just take your right knee to your right wrist, slide your left leg back until your left hip is just above your right heel. So you can stay right here lifting up. If this feels good, you can walk your hands back to your hips or maybe interlace your hands behind you and lift your chest. And then we're gonna walk the hands out in front, coming all the way down into pigeon. If it's too much, you can stay on your forearms. If you're feeling good, you can come all the way down, extend your arms out in front of you, forehead to the floor. Take a couple deep breaths. All right, we're gonna move to the other side. So curl your back toes under, take your right leg, reach it up, and just kind of take a few circles on this right side, opening up your right hip again, and then gently set it down, left leg. You're gonna take the left knee to the left wrist, slide the left foot under the right hip right leg goes back lift your chest and then you can come all the way back hands by the hips or interlace your hands behind you open up your chest and then we're going to bring it down to the forearms or all the way down to the forehead extending your arms taking a deep breath here and you want your hips to be level so you're not really trying to roll over to that left side to get your butt to touch the floor you just want to be balanced take another deep breath all right, bring your hands back to the floor, curl your back toes, take your left leg up and shake it out, roll it out. All right, now walk your feet up to the middle of the mat and then slowly rise up to standing. We'll finish with a couple of balancing poses just to get kind of balanced and centered for our day. So shifting the weight back and forth between your toes and your heels, just to that balance. I want you to shift the weight into your left foot now, take your right leg, you're gonna place your right heel up on your inner thigh. And if that is too much, you can just place it low beside your ankle. But otherwise, tuck it in to the inner thigh. Now I want you to tuck your tailbone just a little bit. It's not really, I guess I shouldn't say it's a tuck. It's more squeezing and lifting your hips up. So my butt cheeks are squeezing behind me. My hips are lifting in front and then I'm wrapping my core tight. Now you can take your arms up, growing your tree. Just breathing here. And you're pushing the foot into the inner thigh while pushing the thigh into the foot, finding that balance. All right, bring your hands to your heart. Now try to stay balanced, lift your right knee. If you can, you're gonna take your two piece fingers, hook your big toe. If that's going good, we're gonna extend the foot out in front and you can take the left arm out for balance. If at any point it's too much, you can bend the knee. If you want, you can take it open. Right leg out, left arm out, maybe even whoop, look out past your left thumb. Challenge your balance. So standing tall, shoulders down away from the ears. All right, last one, bend the knee, bring it back through center. You're gonna take your right hand flat, reach back with your right hand, grab the inside, I'll turn towards you, of your right ankle. So the thumb reaches back and you're just catching the foot. Now lift the chest and start to kick back for dancer. So you're kicking into the hand, or you're kicking into, yeah, into the hand, lifting the foot. So try not to drop your chest. 
Keep looking up, don't look down for three, two, and one. All right, slowly bring it down. We'll do the other side. Okay, you're gonna shift the weight into your right foot now. Catch your left foot, place the foot on the inner thigh, lift your chest. Now, lift your hips, wrap your core, squeeze your glutes. So this is gonna keep you really stable in your core. Spread out your toes and push into the big toe. And then if you'd like to grow your tree, you can take the arms up overhead. You can always bring the hands in prayer, whatever you'd like. Take one more big breath here. All right, bring the arms out wide. Take the left knee in front of you. Take the peace fingers of your left hand. Hook your big toe. You can stay right here. If this is enough, if you want more, extend it forward. Try to keep your hips balanced. So your left hip has to come down a little bit and then maybe take it out. So rather than big cheerleading hips where you have that left hip hiked up, you want your hips level. Squeeze your inner thigh of any leg. Maybe challenge your balance by looking over your right thumb. Good. All right, last one, dancer. You're gonna bend the knee, palm open, reach back, catch the foot. I'll turn again from the inside. So your thumb is like pointed behind you. Lift your right arm, lift your chest. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, start to kick back and up. So we don't wanna just hinge forward with the chest. We wanna keep the chest lifted. This is a back bend. Keep kicking for three, two, and one. Nice. All right, inhale your arms up overhead. And then exhale, hands to the heart. One more big breath, inhale up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. And then exhale, you're gonna come all the way down to your mat. Extend the legs out in front of you. Inhale, reach up. Just moving through these last few stretches. Exhale, fold it in, just a quick stretch. And then again, inhale up. And one vertebrae at a time, you're gonna lower all the way onto your mat. Bend your knees for a bridge pose. Hands are flat beside your hips. Knees are close together, just a couple inches apart. You're gonna lift your hips up. Now work up onto your shoulders, tuck the shoulders underneath you, squeeze your glutes, lift your hips. And then try to walk your knees in a little closer. One more breath here. All right, slowly lower down. We're gonna take a happy baby. So you're gonna take your hands to the outside edges of your feet. Just start to rock it out. I like to straighten my legs into a bit of a straddle here as well. It feels good. Just do what works for you. And then we're just gonna rock a couple of times forward and back, kind of massaging the spine as we finish our practice. And then extend your legs, extend your arms, toes flop out, palms are open. Take a big breath here, in through the nose. Exhale, let it go. On this next breath, I want you just to gather up your intentions for this day. Whatever it is that you want to bring to your family, your loved ones, whoever you're quarantined with. I want you just to kind of find a moment right now to connect to that energy, connect to that joy, maybe a sense of love, a sense of gratitude to start your day. Take another big inhale, gathering up all those things you're so grateful for. Exhale, letting go of any stress or tension, any worry. Just lying here in stillness for about two more breaths. Knowing that you're loved, knowing that you have everything you need to make this day a beautiful and joyful day. All right, last thing we're gonna do, I want you to bend your knees, give yourself a big hug, grab your elbows, tuck your chin to your chest, forehead to knees. Just a moment of like self-love, just to remind yourself to take care of you today. That's really the most unselfish thing you can do that will allow you to take care of the people that you love. All right, so we'll grab the backs of the knees, just rock up to a seated position. Sitting up tall, you can cross the legs, whatever is comfortable. We'll just finish with one last big breath. Take your arms out wide, feeling your heart open, full of love. And here we go, inhale, stretch the arms up overhead, palms touch at the top. Exhale, draw your hands to your heart, bowing your head once again, just in gratitude, just kind of setting your intention personally for your day. Thank you for coming and sharing this morning stretch with me today. I really loved having you here and guiding you. 
So from all the light that is within me, I honor and I acknowledge all the light in all of you. Namaste. All right, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll stay on for a couple more moments if you have any questions or you need anything. Otherwise, um, now that you have subscribed to this class, you'll get notifications anytime there is a class in the future and I'll be sharing um, about that too. So thanks so much, everybody have a great day. I'm just gonna turn off the recording.